Hello, it is I, Dr. Brian Lorgon 111, and welcome back to Heroes Spirits. I've done a little bit of walking around off camera and picked up some more portal coins and treasure boxes. Uh, there's a gold door here, and we recently got the impression that there's a finite number of doors in the world to unlock. And so I think I should start unlocking all of them. This one's in the West Mountains, and seems like maybe it's just connecting a couple of areas here in the West Mountains. Oh! Here's a diamond I haven't found, and possibly an NPC. There's a dungeon below the castle, I don't know how, that, how to get there. Okay, I have seen that before. So that is not new information. Um, and so I just unlocked the door, did that just create a shortcut? And if so, it looks like that. And there's a treasure box out here. Okay, so this... Well, once again, I don't know if diamonds respawn. I don't know if treasure boxes respawn. I don't know if pea coins respawn. I don't think portal coins respawn. Yeah, portal coins and soins. Actually, even treasure boxes. There's like the little question mark bricks that tell you you found, you know, all of the sub-things in this zone. Which makes me think that those ones that have associated question mark blocks are finite which I think is a reasonable assumption. I um, guess I might as well grab this, and I'll kill you for no reason. Um, yeah, so that's kind of the best things I have to go on in terms of completedness for some types of... treasures, I guess? All the things that appear in the upper right? I'll call them treasures, just as a group for right now. Um... But yeah, there are still clearly places I have not explored. And so yeah, I think once again we're going to have a very segmented episode where I just go try to explore things and bring you back as I find new stuff. Hey, there's a pea coin that was just hiding off in the corner over here. Uh, there's a girl over there I'm going to go talk to in just a moment, just to see where I am. I saw a house on hallowed ground. Okay. So we're actually not far from the Devil's Wall right now. And I just found the pea coin somewhere over here to the right. So that suggests that I haven't explored this area sufficiently thoroughly. So I'll do some walking around over here. I am slowly over time starting to get a better mental map of a bit of the world. Um, but only somewhat. Happened to find my way back to the unlit path, and given that I now think that keys and doors might be finite, I'm gonna go ahead and spend my diamonds in order to buy up the keys. I'm not gonna spend it on hearts because hearts respawn. Um, or at least I'm fairly certain they do. I don't know, maybe there's a finite number of hearts. There's a pea coin in here I haven't found. Okay. Uh, I'm actually successfully finding new things in the unlit tunnels, it would appear. I'm trying to be extremely thorough as I go off camera because <laughs> I can just kind of take my time even if it's a lot of time uh, and see what we find. So before we go in there, let's make sure we pressed. Yeah, we pressed against all these walls. So which exit is this? Oh, Smuggler's Rune, an ancient tomb. I recently resaw an NPC. Okay, so I've never been here before. I recently refound an NPC who said, seek out the eye in the Smuggler's Road. Um, I'm hoping the eye might be something that gives me more visibility capabilities. Like the ability to like see farther through forests and things than I can right now. That would be super useful. Where does this bring me to? Item shop, secret passage. I'm in a secret passage behind an item shop or something? I don't want to get lost from this place, but I also have to explore this one. Alright, well, it's very exciting to find a whole new zone. Because it's been a while since that's happened. Um, yeah, I actually think it's been... Other than the, like, end game of going into the castle, I don't think i found, like, a whole new named area that might have an otherworld portal and normal portal. Okay! Oh, and I can even buy a sword here? I only have 11 diamonds right now. 
And then there's gonna be an exit out here too. Okay, so that's in the bottom right of the shop. So I should press against walls of the shop is one thing I'm learning. I have plenty of silver keys. Swords could be useful, and I'm not sure when I'm gonna find my way back here. But I also don't wanna run out of diamonds if there's something else to buy. Let's imagine I'm gonna find more. All right, where does this take me? Tundra Devil's Wall, really? How have I not been here before? All right, we need to see exactly where we are. No, maybe I have been here, and I saw the item shop and didn't care to purchase anything, and did not bother pressing against every wall to discover that there was a secret passage behind it. I think that makes the most sense. Okay, because I, yeah, it seemed to recall going up the Devil's Wall up over there. Okay, so we're back over here. Um, and the question is, are there ways we can go? And the answer is yes. Oh, there's even a save crystal here. All right, let's take the save. Um, I'm going to stay on the left-hand side to start. And now that we found somewhere new, do I want to be super duper thorough? I feel like it does make sense to do so. So apologies for the... Ooh, that's the sound of a ghost who's an insta-death kill. Hopefully he's somewhere to the right and not in the passage that I'm in right now. Or he might be right up here. All right. I don't think there's space for there to be secret paths over here. Hmm. This just dead ended, though. Oh, it's a warp that brings me into a new place. Okay, there's a spider. Maybe the spider also makes that noise. Oh, and now I'm across the river. Okay, so to get across the river, you go to the south, and then there's a one of those secret passagey kind of places. Oh man. Oh no. <gasps> oh gosh. All right, there's a shrieky ghost. He'll instantly kill me. Actually, I do have a shield right now. And at some point not too long ago, I, oh, what is that? Maybe that's the eye that I'm seeking out. It's across the water and I don't have the mystic ring that allows, creates paths across the water or something. Um, rats. All right, I'm gonna try pressing against the water even though I don't think that's ever worked anywhere. Okay, so we got to witness what might be, I'm, I'm not sure, but one could imagine that's an eye. It's kind of eye-shaped. Um, so let's imagine that's the eye that I'm trying to seek out. This ghost, are you coming towards me? You don't seem to be. I do have a shield. Oh, right, that doesn't kill you. That only just uh, destroys fireballs. So that was a waste of a shield. Oops. Um. All right. What we got inside here... Uh, did I press against all these? I think I did. So here is the warp place, that now if I step back out, I'll be in a different spot. And so now I'm over here, and there's still a bit on the original coastline that we'd explore together. So let's go check that out. Uh, except it doesn't look like there's anywhere I can get to. Hmm. This was the save, which I just touched again, despite the fact that I lost my... Uh, what do you call? I thought I came in right here. No, I came in right here. Got it. And this was the item shop that led to the Devil's Wall, right? All right. So is there anywhere else I think I can go now, or do I think I need the boots before I'll be able to go anywhere else? Are there any other dusty corners that I could find myself in that might be mystical teleports that I failed to notice before? Um, so over here, and also I'm not sure that I pressed against... No, I did press against all these walls. So here's the teleport. Once I come out of the teleport... Yeah, we saw you. And I used this route to get in there. 
Oh, that's actually a teleport as well. Interesting. When I step on the square, see how the um, things change? So each time I step on the square, the little swirlies that indicate the false walls change. So this is actually a teleport, and that's how I get into this place. Okay. It's still very curious that you don't move and there's something behind you. But I don't have a way to dispel you right now. And I think I did press against all the walls in here. Alright, so... Either water walking... Oh, there's a... Hmm. So there could be... Multiple entrances into the smuggler's room, perhaps? Smuggler's Ancient Tomb. Smuggler's Ruin Ancient Tomb. <laughs> Guess the names of these places. And I think I tried, since it was a teleport, I should try pressing against all this, because I actually haven't been inside that building. And similarly... Okay. So... Hmm... Well, I think I possibly explored everything I can explore here now. I actually didn't press against the walls of the save area. And these are valid places to hide secrets as well, even if they're kind of unusual if they were. That's my way out. This was just housing an enemy. This was... No. This was the way to the secret item shop. Which brings me back out by the Devil's Road. Okay, so I think I've learned my way around here. And so this was in the Tunnel's Unlit Path, and so perhaps there is still more to explore in the Tunnel's Unlit Path that I haven't found yet. So I'll go back to kind of pressing everywhere and looking around. I have been here. This is... Oh! Uh, this is the other item shop that I just chose to buy a key, I think. Alright, so I've been here recently. Great. Back on my own exploring. Ah, there's a P coin. <laughs> okay, so I need to, every item shop, I need to return to even the sold out ones and press against all their walls in case there's secrets. Because that's a place to hide secrets. Okay, useful information. Still looking around. All right, I'm back at the castle grounds in the interest of opening all the doors. Ah, there is a sword here. All right. So apparently I just never opened this door. Um, there's an item shop somewhere. Uh, this is South Mundman Waterway. Somewhere in the, like, the upper right of the castle grounds, I think there was an item shop. Uh, ooh. There's also a ghost changing me. All right, so let's... Um, Juke him somehow. Uh, how can I do this? Uh, around the save crystal. That'll work just fine. So if I go here, yeah, you go there. If I go here, you go there. There we go. Okay. Now I can pick up the shield. And then try to get to where I think I'm trying to get to. This is a dead end, isn't it? Oh no, it's not. Uh, yes it is. Okay, so that was not smart. We did juke that ghost, though. Uh, and here is a clock. And there is a way out into the wider world down here, I'm pretty sure. He says, ending up in another dead end. Because he's clearly learned the initial area so well. Here we go. Wider world. Okay, great. So I believe the shop that I think I'm remembering. Also, I think there's another clock coming up over here. Uh, nope, there's a save crystal. I'll take the save crystal. I think the shop is somewhere up this way. So let's see if we can find it. It was again along the top. I uh, do need to keep an eye out for ghosts. I've already got the shield. And there's a ghost, and it was farther to the right, apparently, because it was past that water bridge, whatever. Uh, was it up here? I don't think so. Oh, oh boy! All right. Um, oh, there's a P coin I never found. Wow. All right. 
I also don't know when this place changed, like, once I got up to 50 swords, like... I guess it did, like, rehive loot in here. I didn't really think about this. This might be the shop. It is. Um, I don't have enough to buy the key, otherwise I would. <gasps> here we go, item shop secret passage. Before I go through here, let me test the other walls. Okay, this is the only one. So where does this bring us? Yes, a different portion of the smuggler's rune. Okay, we're maybe getting places. Hooray, hooray. Yeah, I'm on a different side. I can kill the little spider dude. All right, so now we're over here. Still don't have a way to get there. But... I hear a scary ghost. Alright, um, I think we've seen all of the obvious spots, so let me go try pressing against all the walls. But maybe we just have to find our way back to all the shops, and eventually we'll find our way somewhere useful. Oh wait, there was still more to explore to the north over here. I was just pressing against all the walls and tracing out the boundaries, but we haven't been up here yet. So, what do we find over here? Uh, perhaps another way out to another item shop or something? Oh, Frozen Shore Ice Fields! A pea coin! Even if that's it... This, I guess, is like the bottom left of the Frozen Shore. Yeah, again, if I got water walking, or maybe the bottom right even. If I got water walking, presumably this would be more valuable. When I first come out, it does start me off that tile, so I couldn't go to, like, to the left of the little transfer tile there. All right. Um, Slime's trying to run away from me for whatever reason, I guess, or he was just dancing around me. Okay, now I think we have truly seen everything we could see in this region. Did I press again? Oh, I, mm, I guess I did press it. No, uh, we're somewhere else. That's another transporty thing. Okay. Gotta be super, super careful with your exploration in order to find all the secrets. So this is another place like this with the double wall. Got it. Okay. Uh, so at least there's a pattern emerging here. So now I do think I've explored everything that there is to see right there right now. So we can go back to this item shop, uh, which was at the north end of the castle grounds. Yes. Um... I did not make notes about all the item shop locations that I found. Um, I might remember some. There's probably still at least one more that we have... Oh, look, there's a sword up here. Um, we're working our way towards 90. I forget. I have it in my notes. What was it, level 90? Uh, that I might benefit from being able to not die to. Um... Okay, here's Save Crystal right by Cherry Valley again. So let's just pop out there to avoid the ghosts. Uh, or Verdant Coast. Cherry Valley is like a sub-area in the Verdant Coast. Um, okay. Well, I guess I'm back to exploring for now, and I'll also double-check my notes about what changes at level 90. Oh, interesting. Another shop I thought of was this shop, and it turns out that I can walk up here. <laughs> Are there possibly any secrets on the border of this shop? Apparently not. And I can't walk through the items that I can't afford yet. Alright, well, it was good to explore just in case there was a secret there. Uh, there happens to not be, but it's good to check. It's noteworthy that there's a few places where there are double doors where I've only spent one of my keys in order to open the doorways. And so, until I get down to the last dregs of doors that haven't yet been unlocked, I don't think I'll ever spend keys on those doors that don't actually block anything. Um, seek the eye of the old one. It will help you find your destiny. So maybe that's what I was looking at the Smuggler's Road. Something that will help me find my destiny. What is my destiny? How will it help me find it? 
I don't know. They're still missing stuff in this region, but I think there's going to be, like, some ship offshore. Um, somewhere that I can't even, like, see from a distance yet. That eventually, when I get some kind of water walking ability, we'll be able to go visit. And it's going to have pirates. And Oh, there's a treasure box right there. Wait a minute, what? Can I just walk there? No, I can't walk there because, once again, I don't have a way to get to that island. Right. So yeah, we're definitely going to gain some kind of water walking ability that's going to allow me to, for example, walk over to that island and pick up that treasure box at some point in the future. I feel pretty certain. A basilisk guards the heart of the castle. You must be prepared. I fought something that I thought was a dragon, because someone said I had to slay a dragon for some reason. But I've seen another NPC reference to the dragon. I wonder if what I killed was actually a basilisk and not a dragon. And maybe there's still a dragon that I need to go visit in the heart of the castle somewhere, something, something. Um, hmm. Just a random thought I had while re-exploring. Oh, those are some nice boots. I bet they're really comfy. All right, here's a person. Oh, level eight. Hmm. Is it possible I'd never talked to that person before? There are relatively dangerous monsters out here, and I don't remember if I've been here since I've been level 80. We're in the blind forest of Luttershore. I can't remember for sure uh, if I might have been up here before and talked to that person before. Um, so there's at least some hope of finding something new and exciting out here. Although some of these empty dead ends suggest to me that it's likely that I have been here before. Yeah, empty squares like this make me think that there is once a treasure box there that I've already picked up. All right, so where does this bring us out at the north end of Luttershore? It's to a shop that I bought out because I thought I was never coming back. So this would be the perfect time to look for... Ah, oh, there's no secret passages in here. Rats. All right. Well, I did remember... Okay, so I guess I did clear this area out. And I decided, you know what, I'm never coming back up here. And so I bought out the shop. I remember doing that. Um, so it was good to revisit here because I'd forgotten there was a shop. But in this instance, uh, it's not helpful. Because there are no more secret smuggler places. Okay. All right, I find myself at the North Mundman Lava Pools, and I see an opportunity to get a P coin, even if it costs me a death. And we're getting close to 75 P coins, which would enable me to purchase the carrot and possibly interact with what appears to be perhaps the princess's bunny rabbit in the uh, haunted mansion or whatever. So... I'm going to start spending lives to get P-Coins when I see those opportunities. If you wore glasses, you'd be able to see better, says this ghost. Is that what the person in here used to see? I, do I say... Blah, blah. I don't remember that. Uh, I need you to move a different direction for me, ghost. Uh, what are the chances you want to do that? There we go. I want to get in here and see if there's something in here for me. There's a stopwatch, which will help me get back out. But that's the only thing right now. Okay. Uh, I decided that I've been scared of the castle grounds because there's so many ghosts. And so I need to do some more exploring around here because this might be a place that I'm going to find stuff I haven't found. Uh, yeah, scary ghost. Which won't let anyone enter the castle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've definitely been down here somewhat recently. Uh, also, that's a dead end, so don't go that way. <laughs> Alright, where are other bits of the castle that I haven't explored recently? Oh, there's a heart in here. Which might be good, because I might be about to die. Uh, what do you say? My arms feel kind of strange. Wait, why are you running away? So that's a person who's, like, self-aware of the fact that they have transformed into a ghost. Or at least vaguely aware. And so over here, 
Is this the secret passage south of the castle something something? Have I been down here ever? There's a heart in here. That's nice. Uh, the ghost, right. They can float across the water. Okay, I have definitely been down here. This is just the south end of the castle. I think I've explored this region pretty thoroughly recently. Alright, well, I'm just looking around more of the castle grounds. Look at this bee coin. Taunting me. Are the worst monsters here yet? I will survive this night. I'm not sure that I'd seen that text before, either. Interesting. Alright, I need to press up against that wall to get a tempo, and then I can re-get the clock. See, so yeah, I think I'm possibly at least... Oh, there's a portal coin over there and a diamond. How do I get in there? It's either from this side or the other side. And it doesn't appear to be from this side. So let's go find that. Uh, oh, gold key. Yep, I am happy to spend it. Oh, there was a uh, secret over there, maybe, too. Which I might need to use. Um... Rats. How do I get down there? <laughs> I've seen loot, and now I want to have it. I think we're getting close to the... Uh... Oh, boy. I need to outrun you. Yeah, my favorite color is... Oh, no, I don't remember. Okay. So, if I go back through here, I'll also get a respawn point that's right there. But now we can try to find if this is the secret. This might be the secret road that's going to get me to where I need to go, or maybe not. All right, I need to respawn again. So maybe I had to cross the water in order to get to that diamond and portal coin? Yeah, because I don't see a way to get through here otherwise. Yeah, and this did not like teleport me to a new place or something. Yeah, I think I've been all around. So yeah, I think I need to really find some kind of water walking ability in order to make progress in a number of spots. I was trying to come up with places to find more loot, and I realized inside the castle, there is like a giant maze of stuff going on here. Um, there's all kinds of doors to unlock and save crystals and whatnot. Uh, and so I should do some more of this and see if I can find some more loot. And so to start things off, I think I'm going to try spending silver keys whenever I can. And just, yeah, there's a 10th portal coin, for example. Uh, and see what I can manage to find as a result of going through some of there. Hey, there's a gold key. Nice. Um, yeah, so I'm going to walk around, try to find some free loot. P coins, if I could find five more of them in here, that would be tremendous. Because it would give us another possibility. Oh, there's a sword in here. Another possibility to go after the rabbit in the haunted mansion. Um... And, right, sometimes this is going to be weird. Okay, I'm up to level 90 as well. So yeah, if I could even find five more swords, potentially, that would allow me to get through the butterflies of the um, other world area. So that could also be super great. I'll happily take the game saves. This is the enchanted path, which just doesn't go anywhere or whatever. Uh, is that on both sides? Hmm. Uh, let's, let's not fool with that right now. Let's instead try going other ways. And I'm not pressing against all the walls in here. Um. But yeah, I remember going a big long thing around and then going another way and something something. Hmm. What was there? Hmm. <laughs> I didn't look back at my video on this, which maybe I should have in order to remember some of the details. I'll just wander around and see what I find. And let's go ahead and spend some gold keys in case it helps us find some new spots. Although I think that might have actually gotten me somewhere I've already been. Alright, well here's another silver key. Let's just spend it. Eventually everything will open up, especially when we spend all the silver keys. Like, why did I spend that one? There's no good reason. 
And this one, yeah, we can see both sides of it, so I don't need to spend that one. But I'm sure there are some that I can spend. Alright, the gold door is over here. I haven't been to the right over there. Can I get to the right side of this gold door? Yes, so I don't need to spend a gold key there, because I've seen both sides of that door. And this just brought us around to the save crystal. Have I been to the south of this? I think yes. Yeah, so I don't need to spend that. Although... Yeah, I can see both sides of those doors. So there's definitely no reason to spend gold keys there. Um, let's see, what about here? Have I been to the north of here? All right, here was the transition to the throne room, door to the throne room, and then this should be like the menagerie area somewhere around here, I think. I don't know that I'm learning my way around, per se, but I'm starting to get a better feel for some places. Oh, there's a treasure box over here, that's nice. Oh yeah, there's a diamond. And a sword, nice. And a P-Coin, that's really what I wanted to find the most. All right, so here's the entrance, and over here, I don't know that I ever saw the other side of this gold door, so let's go through. There's a save crystal in the spider's nest here. Have I seen all that this has to offer? Hey, there's a sword up here. Nice. Hey, and a P-Coin, all right. So that's definitely an area of the spider's nest that I hadn't explored before. All right, I made it back out into the courtyard, which I vaguely remember. And it had some somewhat dense trees, but was mostly a square area. I think I originally entered from the left-hand side, I guess over there. And did I walk around the entire outskirts of the courtyard? Don't think we've made it back to the uh, menagerie yet, which is another place to be. All right, but I probably went through all these trees. So remind me what this area up here was. This was just more of the maze. All right. Oh, this is the menagerie. Here we go. Okay, so the menagerie, I don't know that I thoroughly explored. There's a clock in here if I need it, but I don't really need it because I am strong enough to kill all the various animals in this spot. All right, inside the spider's nest again, I found you get to find all of the treasure boxes in this region. All right. And this seems to be a different portion of the spider's nest than I was in before. I mean, to the extent that, I don't know why I bothered killing that guy, to the extent that I can tell the difference, given the limited visibility here. Uh, but this does feel different from the one that I was in before. Oh, here's a silver door. Let's definitely open that. Hey, it's got a sword. We're up to 93. If we get up to 95, we could take the butterflies in the other world. And that would be a huge... And there's another P-Coin. Two more P-Coins. Yeah, two more swords or two more P-Coins. And there's a treasure box. Fantastic. I have a feeling it is not the last. So I'm not going to go back to that question mark box and try to check. Oh, this is the Enchanted Path. Interesting. Uh, so if I go back down this... No, it does bring me back out here. Okay. Um, wait a minute. It brought me back to some kind of middle area. Huh. And then this is a different area. And I'm just checking to make sure there aren't, like, mystic teleports when I step in little corners. But I don't see one. Okay, and this brings me back out to here, which is somewhere that I've been before. All right. Still think there are places in here that I have not explored yet, so I'm going to try to find them. Okay, there's some gold doors to the right over here that I don't know that I've been through, so let's try opening one of Hey, there's a portal coin. Opening one of them. And a white key. Okay. So let's open the other one as well, because it doesn't seem like I've been down in this region of things. 
and see if we find anything else good. Oh, that circles me back here. Is this the start? This is the start. Okay, so I had been there before. Um, so there was a way I didn't immediately go here. So here's where I just unlocked the gold door. This was a dead end, and I didn't go this way. But this also just cycles back out to the main chamber. All right. Well, we managed to spend some keys. And that one, I think I decided I've already been to the other side of. Because I could see it over here. Yeah. And I recognize this. These are both dead ends. This one's going to go slightly down and then back up and then dead end. Yes. So I am starting to learn my way around here. Hey, I found a secret entrance in the spider's web. That has led me to two more pea coins, which means I have 75, which means I can buy the carrot. <laughs> okay, I think that makes me satisfied with our progress for the day. So I'm going to try to find my way out of here, and next time we will try to go buy the carrot, go back to the haunted mansion, and see if we can interact with the green bunny rabbit that we saw there because that is my best lead at this point. This game is so crazy. I hope, as always, that you guys are having a great day, and I will see you again soon with more Hero Spirit. For now, bye-bye.